Well, we do have some really good news to report. The San Francisco Giants fan who was just brutally beaten on baseball's opening day is getting better. His family says he is speaking and is more responsive than ever. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone reports. The beating attack following the Dodgers San Francisco Giants opening game last March in Los Angeles left Brian Stowe with severe brain damage and a prognosis that has continually remained uncertain. A long road to recovery and rehabilitation. Uh, that's what that's what's in our future and we're prepared for it. But in a sign of some progress, Stowe's family says on their website that he talked assisted by a tracheotomy speaking valve. The family statement says when the speech therapist asked his first and last name, he said them. The therapist asked what his daughter's name was and he said Tabby. She then asked what his son's name was and he said Tyler. San Francisco General Hospital upgraded Stowe's condition in June from critical to serious. Still, in a statement this week, his doctors cautioned it is premature to predict where his long journey will end, and he is not out of the woods yet. Stowe was in a coma for weeks after his head hit the ground when he was attacked. Two men have been charged in the beating, and the Dodgers have implemented increased security at their stadium. Together, the Giants and Dodgers called for peace between their fans. In your excitement or in your frustration, don't take it out on another fan if you don't agree with who they cheer for. This is America's national pastime, and let's keep it that way. The rivalry between the Giants and Dodgers is one that has long ignited fan passions. But what happened to Brian Stowe stands as a warning those passions can go too far. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.